The Silver Fox Soft Tackle is one of my go-to patterns for all throughout the year, but specifically for the summer and autumn months. Get your tying stuff ready. It's time to tie. The preferred hook for the Silver Fox is a Daiichi 4640. This is a size 16. Other jig style hooks and accompanying slotted beads will work just fine. Get a base of 70 denier ultra thread in blue done, start it at the front of the hook, and leave it just off that 60 degree bend behind the eye. Add a dab of gel like super glue to your tie in point before grabbing some black 1 100th ounce barbell style eyes. These are going to ensure the hook rides upright through the water and will help keep a vertical presentation throughout the drift. They're simple to tie in too. Grab these eyes with a few capture wraps and make figure eights to secure them to the hook shank. Adjust the position of your eyes to make sure they're straight on the hook and make final securing wraps. Continue the thread wraps along the hook shank towards the back bend of the hook. Hungarian partridge is used for the tail and soft tackle portions of this fly. Pluck a choice feather from the cape and remove any fuzzy butt end fibers. Splay out the remaining fibers on one side of the feather to even the tips and then pull them off the stem. Keep that feather for the next fly. I like a short tail on my silver foxes. Capture the partridge fibers with a pinch wrap and then check that tail for length. If you're content with your eyeball measurement, secure the butt ends to the hook shank. Next, go ahead and trim a small piece of gold wire from its convenient little holding container. The Larva Lace soft copper wire containers keep all of your wire in check, not allowing for the entire spool to bail out of control like some products. Capture the wire and secure it to the hook shank, ending with your thread at the back of the hook. The calling card for the Silver Fox is from the Salar Synthetic Series Sea Lice Silver Dubbing. This flashy silver material makes great salmon and bait fish patterns, but it's also awesome for making high vis nymphs. Spin a noodle of SSS dubbing onto your tying thread and begin making consecutive wraps toward the front of the hook. Try and taper the body as you move forward so that the thorax is just a little bit thicker than the body of the fly. Continue with your dubbing body and leave a small open section at the front for soft tackle and for a dubbing collar. Leave about an eighth of an inch or so for that next step. Next, use spiral wraps to bring that gold wire forward to the same tie-in point. This will add a slight ribbing effect, a little bit of flash, and a lot of security. Capture the copper wire at the front of the hook and then helicopter off any excess. Now it's time to go back to our partridge pelt for one more beautiful feather. Prepare this feather in the traditional soft tackle style. While holding the tip, remove all the butt end fluffy stuff and begin preening the remaining feather fibers rearward to splay them out. When you get as many fibers pulled down as you can, bring in some sharp scissors and trim the tip of the feather to form a small triangle tie-in point. Bring this feather to your hook and capture that triangle right on top just behind the barbell eyes. Grab the butt end of the stem with some hackle pliers and begin wrapping the feather in place to form a collar around the silver dubbed body. Gently stroke those fibers rearward with each rotation of the feather to ensure their proper orientation. When you run out of feather fibers, it's time to capture the stem and then trim the excess. Do your best to cover up that stem with thread before grabbing some Firestar dubbing to finish the fly. This is Peacock, but you can mix and match to add some hot spots or more natural colors. Dub a sparse noodle onto your thread and wrap a small ball just behind the barbell eyes. A quick whip finish will leave you with a completed Silver Fox soft tackle that any angler would be proud of. Great job. The Silver Fox is great fishing high spring turbid waters, summer riffles, or deep fall pools. Get down to your local fly shop and pick up all the materials you need to tie the Silver Fox. Give Lori a call at the shop if you have any questions about stocking your shelves with the best fly tying materials on the market. When you get done tying flies that just catch fish, Share your successes on the Fly Tying University Facebook page. It's a community for all fly tires. Larvalace is a proud partner of the Fish Stories Archive, preserving fishing stories for future generations. Thanks for tying with Larvalace. Tight lines and well-tied flies.